Okay, SOS family, this is the follow-up video to the video that I made on the four push-up exercises that you can use without body weight. I mean, without weights. You gotta use your body weight in calisthenics. Without weights to build a bigger chest. So I made this workout for those of you guys who, I guess, want to incorporate those four exercises into one calisthenics workout if you want to build a bigger chest. And not only will it help you build a bigger chest, but it will help you get a lot better at these fundamental push-up exercises in calisthenics. Now, before you laugh at me, let me remind you that I did this workout, or I recorded this video right after I recorded the one minute push-up video. For those of you guys who didn't see that video, I will link it in the description or even link it on the screen. And I guess even at the end of this video, so you guys do not miss it. It's very helpful for those of you guys who want to increase your push-ups. So this workout is a circuit workout. You're going to do each exercise back to back, all for 10 reps and you are going to take a two minute break in between each set and try to do about three to four sets if you really want to get that pump and really want to get them freaking chesticle muscles, you know, get them titties hanging, get them pecs slanging. I don't know what the hell I'm saying, like, that's so corny. <laughs> so the way I structured this workout was from the hardest to easiest. I started off with doing 10 reps with each arm of the assisted one arm push up. I did it assisted because I explained in my previous video, I like to focus on the mind muscle connection with my chest. And then I went down to doing the pseudo planche push up, which works on my lower chest. Then I went down to the decline push up, which works on my upper chest. And then I burnt out with the regular push ups, all for 10 reps, which pretty much equals out to 50 reps per set. Now let me remind you beginners, this workout honestly will not be for you, but if you want to try a variation of it, more than likely if you're a real beginner, you cannot do the one-arm push-up nor the pseudo planche push-ups. So if you're really, if you're kind of good at push-ups and you can do 20 regular push-ups, I would recommend to do 20 uh, regular push-ups and then 20 decline push-ups for your workout. So do 40, 40 reps or even do 50 reps by doing 25 regular push-ups and then, then doing 25 decline push-ups. And you can just add it apart. You can even add that to a full body workout, an upper body workout. It does That does not have to be the only part of your workout. But if you are going to do all four of these exercises, uh, if you're strong enough and you have the endurance and you have the endurance, the muscular endurance, then I guess you could add it to a full upper body workout. But for me as of right now, this would be one of my push day workouts. And I actually really like it. It feels it doesn't feel good, but it feels good if you guys catch my trick. Now for you beginners, please don't feel like I left you out. I got videos coming for you guys later on. I'm trying my best to pump out these videos as fast as I can. I only have so much time in my morning and I only have so much energy to show you guys workouts, okay? So stay tuned, please subscribe if you haven't already comment down below tell me what videos you would like to see i got core ab workouts coming too let me just work on those just a little bit more because i'm not really a i'm not really a core a workout guy the way i train my core is typically by just training my calisthenic skills but for those of you guys who are interested don't worry i got those coming too so please again stay tuned stay blessed i am out of here done